Welcome! You're watching the Thrift Store Rundown with the Hollywood Home on a budget. This week we're doing big television milestone anniversaries. And of the three shows I covered that are celebrating 20 years in 2019, Family Guy, SpongeBob SquarePants, and America's Test Kitchen, I believe wholeheartedly that ATK dominates both of them. Now before you go ham on me in the comments asking me how dare you spew such blasphemy and say that America's Test Kitchen is better than its Family Guy and SpongeBob. Well, this is live action, this is instructional, this is educational, and this is entertaining. Family Guy and SpongeBob share some of those traits, but not all of them. And, of course, they're celebrating the same anniversary, 20 years, but they're on completely separate wavelengths, so let's not wage warfare over that. Instead, we could be fighting over taking the credit for who made this scrumptious looking and tasting strawberry poke cake. And who brought it to that certain potluck gathering, which I assume you'll attend at least once this fall season, because I believe it is the prime time for such special gatherings. Hence why I bring you Cook's Country's Best Potluck Recipes. This is one of more than a hundred classic and heirloom favorites for all occasions. I got it for $6.99 and for 50% off. And you'll notice it looks quite similar to America's Best Lost Recipes, which I won't venture so far to say as it sucked, but it left a lot to be improved upon. That's why I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. This is a major improvement. I'll explain. You see, in America's Best Lost Recipes, uh, you had an unequal balance of savory and sweet goods. It was more leaning towards the sweet side than the savory side. If I wanted a sweet book or a baking book, I would buy a baking book flat out from ATK or Cook's Illustrated or Cook's Country and be done with it. If I wanted a sweet book, I would get a desserts book and be done with that too. So I gave that a 3.5 out of 5. Oh, and there's one major critical error that somebody must have made in the manufacturing of that particular copy. And if you want to find out what that is, link in the description to check out that video. Done at Lippy's Lunch in Patterson for the 4th of July. On to best potluck recipes. After the preface by Christopher Kimball with standard and mandatory anecdotes about living in Vermont, this is Potluck 101. A guide to food safety, packing essentials and traveling tips, plus reheating and serving tips, plus Tips on how to make these easy for your host, and what to do when you're hosting a potluck, and how to make it successful. After all that, we get to the food! Now let's get to the food! Right away, Ralphie boy! Starters to share, bring along bunches, cool salads and slaws, hot sides to go. Plenty of these recipes here are great for making ahead of time, so you can just heat them up and uh, bring them to the potluck all hot and warm and toasty. Way to rock and roll! Crowd control casseroles, game day favorites, have slow cooker, will travel, a key piece of equipment to have on hand. By the way, there is a scarce amount of ingredient tastings and equipment testings in this cookbook, but it's probably for the best. Potluck centerpieces and a chapter on desserts. You see, this is the major improvement here. Whereas America's Best Lost Recipes was leaning more towards the sweet side with more dessert and more baking chapters, there's only one chapter in here, chapter 9, page 203, that deals with desserts. We're going to highlight two of the chapters in here. Uh, we try to be as sports savvy as possible at TSR, so chapter 6, page 139, Game Day Favorites. And here we have Batter Fried Chicken. If I could live on fried chicken, I would. Quite possibly for a good 20 years, which is again how long America's Test Kitchen has been on the air. Coast Country, I believe it's been around 12 or 13 years. I have the cookbook from the first eight seasons of the show. Anyway, the standard for each America's Test Kitchen recipe in printed form is the Y recipe warp section, an introductory few paragraphs, which detail and outline the process behind retesting and refining fully loaded stromboli, Wisconsin grilled brats and beer, bratwurst and beer, what could be better, classic barbecue chicken, and such and such, plus great cooking tips featured in sidebars like this. How hot is your fire? Checking the temperature of a charcoal grill. 
Oh, yes, and here is the Y recipe swap section. Where's the Y recipe swap section? Hmm, that's odd. There's always a Y recipe swap section, but not here. That's a change. Oh, well. Let's just focus on these recipes here. We got picnic chicken, Chicago-style barbecued ribs. These game day favorites are suited for those special, special gatherings where everybody is sitting around or standing, whatever you prefer, watching the big game. And I know for my friend Jeff, there will be no football until his Yankees go to the World Series because we are in the uh, ALCS, American League Championship Series. Uh, here is Memphis-style barbecue spare ribs. And they look scrumptious. We got Lexington-style pulled pork. And a tip here on how to make a foil packet. Yes, classic presentation right there. On white sandwich bread, smothered with sauce, and topped with pickles. Nothing else needs to be added to it. You might get sued if you add anything else. Here is a shopping with the test kitchen sidebar. That's where these I mean equipment ratings come into play. Like, for example, grill buses. The True Wizard barbecue bus for $12.99 is their standard choice. And now, pot luck centerpieces that will make you and your guests the luckiest in all potlucks across America to be consuming such delicacies like old-fashioned cider baked ham. Grilled Mustard Glazed Pork Loin Dr. Pepper Glazed Ham Lily Boston, I am talking to you! If you don't know how to cook, pick this up and I know you're a fan of Dr. Pepper so make this your introduction to the wonderful world of cooking! The America's Test Kitchen Way! Oh, and I love these sidebars Explaining a bit of history about each recipe it's the American table. A crusted beef tenderloin. Lily Marston of Clever and Sad Media, by the way, is a big Dr. Pepper fanatic. Sunday best garlic roast beef. Look at that picture right there. Isn't that scrumptious? Lone Star beef brisket. And stuffed turkey breast. Plenty of food photographs in here for almost every recipe. Um, this stuffed turkey breast has the spinach and fontina stuffing. There's also variations for mushrooms and masala wine. Foolproof family favorites ready to hit the road. Other standards include the ultimate seven layer dip, best ever baked ziti, and apple slab pie. Want to really impress friends and family at your next get together? And best potluck recipes, you'll find recipes everyone will love. Forget about the usual dusty and dated potluck fare. Here, you'll discover lost recipes that are truly innovative, like 24-hour picnic salad. This colorful salad, dressing and all, is assembled a day ahead. Spicy spaghetti pie. Messy pasta is transformed into easy-to-serve wedges with our pie plate solution. The last time I've ever heard of spaghetti pie was at Donatelli's in the Twin Cities in Minnesota. And it was on Diners, Drivers, and Dives, uh, the complete fourth season, which I have on DVD. If you want to check that out, link below. And best easy chocolate cake. The batter comes together quickly with pantry ingredients, perfect for last-minute entertaining. Whether you're looking for an easy-to-prepare main dish for your holiday buffet, like old-fashioned cider baked ham, scoring the ham helps the sweet glaze stick to the meat. A crowd-pleasing starter for your next game day party. Fully loaded stromboli relies on store-bought pizza dough for a quick and hearty rolled sandwich. Or an easy-to-serve dessert like Texas Sweet Cake. Spreading the frosting around a cake is still warm guarantees the cake stays fudgy and moist. Best potluck recipes has got you covered. Retail price $29.95 US and it is a major improvement. But I have to uh, deem it a little bit because there is no why this recipe works section, which is a little bit odd for me. I like a little more of your science, but you know what? There's plenty of science in here that your recipes will rock and that you will do your next potluck and your potluck guests a delicious service. For God 
and the Cook Century. That's why it gets a four and a half out of five. 20 years of America's Test Kitchen, and I've been a loyal fan for 15 of those years. Recipes that work. That's what got him this far, and that's what's going to get you on the road to potluck perfection. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.